Here we go, first pickup video in a long time, and it is a, a Marin. I think it's a Merwoods or something like that. The uh, it's the 1995 with the uh, sort of teal green coloured forks and bottle cage and other bits and bobs. Uh, actually, that probably makes it a Bobcat Bobcat Trail. I don't know. It's only cheap. Uh, it's got some funky bars on it, so. Let's go get it and I'll uh, do a video when I get back. Cheers. Uh, there we go, all loaded up. It's a Bobcat Trail. I thought it might be a 700C Stinson or something like that at first, but no, Bobcat. So get it home, get it unpacked. Let's go. So here it is with uh, all this funky touring optional extras. Don't know what you call those bars. Uh, they're kind of cool though. Bring the riding position back so it makes it more comfortable. Of course, they'll be coming off. Uh, wonky rack, cheap, nasty mud rack. Oh, mud rack? Mud guards. They'll come off and a big old squashy seat. I'll see if I've got a thinner one to put on. Uh, most importantly, though, she needs some knobbly tyres. So uh, I'll. Uh, gather those bits and stick them on but other than that she's in good shape the seat post isn't stuck the stem isn't stuck uh, nice little marron like bits and bobs although that's a shame uh, yeah, cool marron like forks still got the warning stickers yeah do another video uh, in a few seconds to you, but probably in a few days to me when I've taken all the bits off and put some decent tyres on. Here we go, this is the Marin that I picked up the other day. Although, to everyone watching this, it'll be like uh, the, the Marin that I picked up a few minutes ago. Uh, yeah, she turned out pretty good. Uh, none of the usual bad, rusty patches. There are a few bits and bobs of rust there's a little spot stem it's got hit with the rust a little bit but yeah overall a pretty nice pretty shiny bike uh, it's only sort of low low end really but I think it's pretty cool personally I remember checking these bikes out when I was um, a pretty young teenager in Ralph Coleman's in Taunton. Don't know if anyone remembers that. Them, they're gone now. But uh, yeah, they used to be a main Marin dealer. And uh, I used to spend a long time in there looking at the bikes. And this, this was close to uh, a few years worth of saving up the paper round money. So this was one of the bikes that I was eyeing up. So yeah, it's kind of cool to me. I know a lot of you have got uh, some really nice high-end kit that probably wouldn't be too interested in this one but yeah i like it not much to say about it it's the olivio uh acera herbs raya rims uh, i bunged the um veta saddle on it because i thought the color of the decals kind of matched up with the teal finishing kit on this uh yeah that was it stuck a flat bar on it Trying to remember what it had on it now, because it was a few days ago I took it all off. Oh yeah, the, the touring bits, the rack. Oh, the funky touring bars, they're gone. Yep, I've kept them though, they're, they're too cool to get rid of. Uh, find something for them. So, yeah, it had semi-slick tyres that didn't match, they, they're gone. And this big squashy saddle is gone. Other than that, yes, as I got it with just uh, just had a bit of a clean. So yeah, that's that one. All done. Ready to be, ready to go on to the next pickup, which is actually gonna be, it's Thursday today. Tomorrow, I'm picking up a double, a double pickup, two bikes, basically. Uh, one vintage, um, sort of uh, old gents sat up type bike from the 60s i think and a very early 90s mountain bike so that'll be cool both from the same seller if they 
have hold, held on to them, but we'll wait and see. Yeah, see you in the next one.